I'm going to talk about three things. First, I'm going to tell you about the state of internet market in India and the trends that we are seeing. The second, I'm going to talk about the state of SMBs in India and what is the landscape, what does the landscape look like. The third, I'm going to talk about how Google is working to help SMBs succeed in India and what are our plans on it. And uh, then after this, then I am available for a round of discussions with all of you. Does it sound good? Okay, so let me get started. If you look at why we are really thrilled about being in India, we are currently 250 million people in India are connected to the internet. But that's not, that's not what is exciting. What is even more exciting is that in the next one year or so, we will become the second largest internet market just after China. We would cross 350 million users. Now that's a phenomenal power. Imagine 350 million of Indians having access to internet, able to take information, able to actually contribute, able to actually discover new things. And that's really, really powerful if you think of it. And that's just starting and it's going to only explode. But what is really, why, are we, why do we think this really is going to happen? Uh, what do you think is really driving it? The thing that's really driving it is this. There are today 100 million smartphone users. So if you're talking about 250 million users, 100 million of them are actually accessing on smartphones. Okay, so large chunk, close to 50% of them are actually accessing internet on smartphones. And every month, five million more people are getting connected using phones and onto mobile and onto internet. So there is a huge explosion that we are seeing happening right now in India. And that is the reason why in a year or so from now, we will be the second largest internet market. Now, what's really doing that? And one of the best ways to understand if people are really interested in smartphones is to look at our own data. What are we seeing? We are seeing that of, there are at least 1.2 billion searches for smartphones that are happening currently. This is what we are seeing. So people are actually searching to buy smartphones, one type or the other, are querying about smartphones, or actually trying to find, figure out what is the best one to use. And that, of the smartphone searches that are happening, 50% of them are actually coming from a mobile, which again talks to the fact that we are going to be a mobile first country. That's very, very different from other markets. A lot of people in India, for the first time, will experience internet on a mobile device. That's very unique to India. If you look at some of the other markets, they have gone through desktops, laptops, iPads, whatever, and then come to mobile. In India, that's not going to happen. Somebody is sitting in a remote part in Coimbatore today, the first time he ever actually going to get onto google.com is, on is on a mobile device. The first time he's going to read something, uh, discover a movie review, is going to be on a mobile site. That is what is going to happen, and that is what is very, very different of this market, and we are seeing that right now. And, the and this is actually another example of what we are seeing in terms of query volumes. The blue graph is primarily the desktop. And you see how it is doing over the last couple of years and look at what's happening to the yellow one. This is really an explosion of mobile queries that are happening on a mobile device. How many of you here have a smartphone? Most people do, right? Most people get connected to internet and search. Your jobs are pretty tough as reporters also because right now breaking news happens on Twitter and everybody else is able to tweet. Whereas the days of actually taking a news back to uh, the newsroom is gone because everybody is actually discovering news as it happens right now on a mobile device. Now, let me come to the second part. So while that is a consumer trend, let's look at what's happening on business. In business, if you look at India, by one of the research that we have initiated, that we have conducted, there are 48 million odd SMEs of any shape and form that we can think of in India, out of which we believe 10 million are ready for to take advantage of internet and what internet can offer to them. Now, out of the 10 million, a large portion of them, if you really look at it, are concentrated in the top 15 cities, no surprise. Uh, because uh, while Mumbai and Delhi come as a no surprise, what is really, and I want you to take note, is that Chennai is really one of the larger hubs. There is at least some 7.5% between Chennai and Coimbatore who actually are in the SME segment, and Chennai is one of the top 15 cities. Also the reason why we are here today, that how do we get Chennai accelerated onto this, and we are really passionate about that. And, this, and, and the thing that we are seeing is that the SMEs are distributed across majorly nine verticals. Think of you know transport, think of cab companies, think of education. Think of all the colleges and schools that are trying to get admissions. Think of uh, uh, real estate uh, people trying to uh, sell their real estate. These are all the kinds of businesses which are now moving increasingly to try to get uh, their consumers that are trying to, uh, trying to grow. So that's really the big trend that we are seeing across in terms of the scope. 10 million people at any point of time ready. 
But again, a different view of this is if there are 10 million of these 48 million who are can immediately benefit from internet, the reality is that only 600k of them have any kind of website, which is pretty decent. Out of which around 100,000 people would actually have a website which they can immediately use for a digital kind of a media or to attract and uh, sell to more customers and do all of it. So our job as Google is not just about trying to uh, look at our advertising side, but we are actually trying to accelerate the ecosystem and a big part and what is very close to our heart is actually digitizing India. And one part of that is actually getting people to actually start creating websites. And that is the reason why last year we invested significant amount of energy and time in initiatives like Get India Business Online in trying to get small and medium businesses to create their own websites and we help them create those websites and host them for them. The second part is we want to work with these people to improve their websites. So once you have a good website, it's like a good store, that you have a physical store, you have a website store, and if you have a great store, then more people are going to come and actually go through that and possibly buy from you. So we want to work on both sides to make sure that the SMEs leverage the power of what's happening on the consumer side where we are seeing an acceleration of people getting connected to internet. Again, in the top 15 cities, one of the things that we are noticing is that an, a typical uh, SMB owner uses multiple devices, mobile is one of them, essentially to get connected to the internet. So there are means of getting connected through a dongle, through uh, laptops, but the bigger piece is that 40% of all SMB owners have smartphones. If consumers, if there's a consumer trend, at the end of the day an SMB owner is also a consumer. So we see a huge trend of actually owners looking at smartphones and doing this. One of the classic examples is that when we've gone to Delhi recently, there was a smartphone, uh, there was an SMB owner who had a smartphone and he would use his smartphone to take photographs of his, um, uh, of his products and send it to his customers on WhatsApp or any other kind of messaging and then trying to interact with the customer. And he didn't have a laptop, he didn't have a desktop, but he was still doing some kind of work with his consumers. So this is a very real scenario. Most SMB owners, SMB owners understand the power of internet, understand how they can leverage it. And this trend is very, very, uh, it's, it's actually very good and we see that's only increasing. What are we as Google doing about it? If you look at Google as a company, uh, just to give you an, an idea, more than two million small and medium businesses globally across the world actually work with Google in order to get their business online and then connect to their customers, connect to their, uh, uh, sell their products, not just in their markets, but across the globe. That's two million of them that we are currently helping. And what do we actually do? If you look at SMB, discovering, it doesn't have huge TV budgets, you cannot go and buy a huge amount of TV spends and you can't buy the front page of Hindu or whatever, right? So how do you as a small company sitting in Chennai, if you have a product that you want to sell globally, how do you do that? First is that a lot of people are searching on google.com. So how do you make sure your product is available or visible to those kind of people? The second is people are actually going through multiple websites or looking at various contents available on the website, whether it is news, news websites or whether it is uh, content related websites on movies or education or what, what have you. So how do you make sure that your product is available to your users there? How do you make sure that you're, you are seen by those users when they are doing that activity? The third is that I, I know a lot of people uh, actually watch a lot of video content, YouTube for example, right? How do you make sure that you are able to, you're able to be discovered by your users at that point of time? So, and then increasingly most people are actually doing it through their mobile. So how do you make sure you're, you're made available? So what we do is we work very closely with SME owners, make sure their products are discoverable, the people are able to find it and they're able to get connected to the SME owners. So we want to connect users to business. And that's what we do, the, do that to products like AdWords, um, etc. Hi, uh, YouTube viewers, subscribe to RedPix.